Well, here's a video of the 71 Roadrunner. I'll try to go over some stuff. Right now, I've got the engine running. It does have an exhaust leak. It's got headers. And we actually replaced that gasket, but we couldn't get it to totally get quiet. The only real rust on the car is this battery tray that need, that can be replaced. You can see the rust on it. The fender well, it's got a few little holes in it, but overall the structure is solid. The core supports original, it's got the stamp, partial VIN number, the chrome bumpers are in very good shape no real dents or dings they look original it's a 383 four barrel engine and these wheels have spacers on them so they rub if we put the original ones on that will make it actually drive better the paint is about 12 years old, but it did sit inside a warehouse, so it wasn't out in the weather. The quality of the paint is, in America, I call it driver quality. It's good, but it's not like Mercedes-Benz quality. You can see the back bumpers. They're in very, very good shape. You can also hear the engine idle. Got a busted lens right here, a crack in it. Kind of go down the side of the car. The speakers are not in there, but they're in the trunk. So at least they come with the car. They're probably pretty old. The interior was redone when the car was redone. Um, I don't see any cracks on the dash, but I believe that's a cover. The console is in good shape. The shifter knob we have, but it doesn't work right. You still have to push this down with your thumb. Back there's the shifter parts. Right there, looks like it's missing the ashtray. Carpet's in good shape. You asked me about the A pillars. There's some rust right there. There's no holes. It's still structurally sound. I think that's a, a thing about a Mopar. It's a pretty rust prone area. Get back where you can kind of see the car. It's a pretty body style. And I believe the stripes, the correct color was white but I guess the owner liked black, so that's what he put on when he painted the car. See again, the bumpers are in good shape. But I'm gonna take this back to the shop and we'll put it up on the lift and I'll put a bunch of pictures of the undercarriage on there for you. That way, if you have any questions, And when I drove it over here, the it shifts good between the gears, but when you first start off, that's when it slips a little bit. But once it gets going, it, it seems like it's okay. It actually feels better than the last time I drove it. But it has been sitting for many years and hasn't been driven much, so maybe those clutch packs will free up. Sorry this video is so long. But I just kind of want you to see the car. The trunk had a few little imperfections. There's a couple little dimples. I don't know if you can see them right there in the video when I move it up and down. Not terrible, but it's there. Well, there you have it. We'll uh, get all this to you. Thank you.